It's my birthday! I'm turning 23 today. August 8th, 1991 was the day that I entered this world, and I'm very happy I did. Um, what's going on, guys? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today on this beautiful day. I'm wearing a tuxedo because the uh, tux never sucks, as my uh, headline for this post today goes. That's how stupid I am. Um, I want to talk about quickly about my birthday, quick, before I start talking about a few things you should look out for in formal attire. 22 is filled with meeting great people, having great experiences, going to Thailand, going to Peru, uh, you know, spending the entire year with my girlfriend Lisa, who I love very much, who unfortunately cannot be with me today because she's having fun in Stockholm, which is fine. <laughs> and tonight is, I think, gonna be amazing. We're gonna go to a German beer garden here in New York, and uh, just a bunch of my friends, and I think I want to share a few, a few of those photos with you through Instagram or whatnot. Um, but you'll be a part of that somehow. So uh, let's talk about what I'm wearing. Uh, I think, I don't know how many of you actually know the details of what black tie actually is. I do and I don't, I do, but I also like to break them uh, based on personal preference. So for one, the white jacket is really just a warm weather option. Generally, your jacket should be black or navy. The collar can either be a shawl collar, which I have here, so no, no notch or no like no notch lapel or peak lapel. Peak lapel would be acceptable. Notch lapel is the most generally the most um, popular, but it's not by traditionalists not necessarily accepted. You should not have any vents in the back, so there shouldn't be any slits in the back of your jacket. And I think that's pretty much it for now. You could go single breasted, which I'm wearing, or you could wear a double breasted. Both are equally acceptable, though uh, single-breasted is more, more traditional. As for the shirt, I'm actually doing it wrong. The wing collar is, is, you know, one of my personal favorites. I love the look of it. I love the exposed, the exposed um, bow tie band. But technically, this is part of white tie. The white tie dress code is a little more high end. It's much, very, very restricted, and you probably never really get a white tie invitation. It's supposed to go with that. I love it, I wear it with this, which is fine for me. The shirt should be double, uh, should be a French cuff with cufflinks. And you're technically not supposed to wear a watch with it. I like wearing a watch with it. I, I had to look that up myself, whether it's technically appropriate or no. Technically isn't. I don't really care. I got this new watch from Earnshaw and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I think it works with the look, so I, I went for it anyway. Um, and of course you have on the shirt you have either pleat, which I have here, see it starts here. Um, you can either have a pleat or not, it's kind of your, up, to you, up to you what you want to go with. As for the pants, tuxedo pants traditionally have a satin stripe, satin or a gross grain stripe on the outer seam. They're not on my pants and I'm okay with it, I was never really a big fan of it and I'd rather be happy with my pants than, uh, you know. Uh, adhere to formal traditions. There's very rare instances where you can dress up, and if you can, I think you should. I think you should use the opportunity because it's really fun. It makes you feel fantastic. It's one of the most traditional attires that you could possibly wear, and um, I say go with it. Uh, one last thing. I have the bow tie. I would have loved to tie my own bow tie, especially since I know how since about last November maybe. But I don't have a black one. I kept it very simple with the black and white theme, the ivory jacket. Um, I would have loved to tie my own bow tie because I think it adds a lot more class, a lot more sophistication. But I wanted, I wanted black over pattern, different colored bow tie. So that's a little lesson on black tie. I think uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I hope I could help you out a little bit on that, and the next time you're invited to a Black Tie event, you'll know exactly what to do. That's it! So now I'm gonna go off and celebrate my birthday. Have a great day. Bye guys.